Second serve. Zero, zero, two. Hang on. Zero, zero, two. Point. One, zero, two. Point. Two, zero, two. Zero, five, one. Second serve. Zero, five, two. One, five, two. Side out. Five, one, one. Second serve. Five, one, two. One, five, one. Second serve. One, five, two. Side out. Five, one, one. Point. Six, one, one. Second serve.
Six, one, two. Side out. One, six, one. Ball. Left foot, push off. Second serve. One, six, two. Six, one, one. Point. Seven, one, one. Second serve. Seven, one, two. One, eight, one. Second serve. One, eight, two. One, one. and get Rafi. Welcome to the Pickler, where everything's better. Everything's better at the Pickler. Everything's better at the Pickler. Who did it? New ball. Game two. Ethan Berg. Time in. Let's zero, see zero, internal two. with the PPA. Ethan, way to go. Cool.
zero one one. All right, pickleball fans, Will Dotton here with the Deep Eddie Vodka fun fan question of the tournament. We asked you to submit. All right, pickleball fans, Will Dotton here with the Deep Eddie Vodka. Who's bringing it in the crowd? It's time now. For McNasty, Manasty, we start you with a match in progress here. Team Shock on the right, and is Jack Sock and Colin Schick on the left. Todd Fote and Spencer Smith. Three, two, Matt. one. Welcome to Gender Doubles. Pumped to be here. Love Gender Doubles Day. For Jack Sock and Colin Schick, by the way. So, yeah, a lot, of, this a lot of drives and crashes from Team Shock. A bit too much pace for Fote and Smith. Four, two, one. And more of the same here, game two. A little bit longer rallies. Second serve. Four, two, two. If Foten Smith can lengthen these rallies, two, four, one. get to the kitchen line, make it really more about that doubles nuance, and be able to extend this to a third game. Side out, Todd Foten. What progression he's made oh, in the yeah. last couple of months. Has had some big wins. Three, he's four, one. Men's doubles and mixed doubles lately. Yeah, he found his stride for Second sure in MLP early last year. And it's really just come on Three, strong. Four, two. Very underrated player. Not a loud guy. People don't talk about him, but very, very skilled. Side out. And Spencer Smith, I don't like that he's going for the speed up there. Four, Again, three, you need to slow one. it down, wait for your opportunities, especially against a team that has such good hands. Point. There's Jack adding that second hand on the paddle, really working on Five, three, more variety one. with the two-hander, the two-e, as Dave Fleming would say. Second serve. Trigger that time. Point. Yeah, pulling the trigger, but not really square with the body after. Off Four, balance. Five, Turn sideways a little bit. Nope. Second serve. It's, it's 
speaking of off balance. <laughs> on that one from Spencer Smith. Not set with the feet, not staying down. Much better weather today, though. Oh, yeah. Less Four, wind, five, sunnier. Yesterday was an adventure. Good aggressive dink there from Fote to Sox backhand wing. Five, five, Definitely two. the weaker of the two. Position. Wow. Spencer Sorry. Smith had a manageable <laughs> shot to finish it. <laughs> manageable is putting it lightly. Yeah. He's really sat on that first one quite nicely, and then the ball sat up. Just looked like he got tricked almost too easy in the middle of the body there. Wasn't sure whether to take with a forehand or a backhand. It was almost as if the off speed speed up of Schick maybe threw off the timing for Spencer Smith. Yep. A little bit of a miss hit. And looks like we'll be maybe changing out this ball. In the Jack Sock, the Vulcan V Pro Flight. I think they may have found a an older ball <laughs> from a previous game. So he's saying, <laughs> find one with a brand new V on it. Five, five, <laughs> one. <laughs> Point. Heavy drive from Jack Sock. And that forehand is a thing of beauty. Six, five, one. Second serve. <laughs> now he wants to change out the ball that <laughs> mysteriously found must somewhere. Be, must be the wrong ball. <laughs> Six, Can't five, be right. two. Just Point. back for Todd Fote. Probably see a challenge here, maybe not. Live, I thought I saw it long, but we shall see. Do we have challenge? No challenges right now. No challenges. We do have challenge. We do have, we do have, we do have challenges now. After review, the call stands. The challenge is lost, the, ball, the timeout is lost. Two timeouts, one timeout. We'll resume play at 7.52. By the way, on the topic of the referees, as of yesterday, Friday, April 26th, the second referee Seven, is also five, allowed two. to immediately call service release warnings and release faults. So keep a lookout for that. I haven't seen it yet, but something to note. Good hands there from Sock. Always keeps that paddle out in front. Yeah, none of these four players usually get called for a high Eight, toss. Five, we'll wait till uh, maybe McGuffin and Bars <laughs> match later. Eh, Sock's gotten called for a few. Side out. Remember early on when they had kind of changed that rule, the mm -hmm. Masters, he's tossed it to the side. <laughs> yeah. They said, oh, I can't even toss it to the five, side. Eight, one. Some fun back and forth about that. Point. Six, eight, one. Ooh, luxurious Second serve. Ernie from Jack Sock. Inside Great move out. There. Yeah, he does, that, he, he's one of the few players that uses that inside out so Six, well. Eight, Almost two. goes to that first. Such That's his first freak. option, the de default. Athleticism is on another level with that guy. And of course, the Utah crowd, happy to have Utah natives, Todd Fote and Spencer Smith on display yeah. early here from St. George. Eight, six, one. Huh. 
come a Second low serve. position yeah. deception from Spencer Smith. Sock really closing middle there. Spencer Eight, Smith six, seeing two. that going behind him a little bit. Really smart shot. Ooh, a little inside yeah. out reaction out. from Todd Fote. <laughs> Giving Jack Sock a bit of his own medicine there. Yeah, you're going to see taking pace six, off six, here. One. Going low. Such a good change up there. Fote. Team Selkirk, Second well serve. represented, by the way, at the Selkirk Red Rock Open. Three of the four sporting the great title sponsor of this event. Six, eight, two. sure if that ball was in or out, but maybe a timeout here nonetheless. Yep. challenge the yeah, outruling, but... I'd imagine they're going to say he played the ball fully. I don't think they'll allow to challenge. In my mind, a little late here. Again, I'd love to see the challenge because I, too, was unsure about if that ball was in or out. But because you already played the ball, it was the in-ruling. The ball had become dead by the time you made the out call. We didn't hear or see an out call prior to the ball becoming dead. The call stands. So the ball's not dead until... Both. Yes. So the ball was dead and, and no, no out call was made or at least was heard. So they're saying nothing to challenge. The point was over. I think an accurate call by the officials. Mm -hmm. and Jack Sock commanding the kitchen. Gets the ball back. Stand down, Eight, seven, Colin Schick. <laughs> Just in case you need to cover the corners. Second serve. It was interesting that Foten Smith, that point prior, were the ones speeding up that ball. Again, not a bad play, but through Eight, the seven, middle, I'd two. like to see more center mass, not let Jack Sock be extended. <laughs> no mystery with the out call there from Jack Sock. Nine, seven, two. <laughs> point. <laughs> match point. And a match point on a couple of strong out calls. Jack Sock now Ten, knows seven, the rules. Two. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> and a pretty finish oh, it is. for Colin Schick. 11-1, 11-7. Chick and Jack Sock are with us now. Colin, got to back you up to the history of this partnership. When you are when you first learned you were going to play men's doubles with Jack Sock, what was your earliest reaction and the story behind that? 
Uh, I was super excited. Yeah, I was driving down to Charlotte all the time while I was in med school to play with Jack, Brooke, and Eric. And I was just having the best time. We, hit, we like to play crazy, do crazy points, good defense. So, yeah, I was so pumped. <laughs> Jack, we spoke the other day about game management and singles, when to take timeouts, when to walk a little slower to the ball. How does that game management change in doubles, if at all? Um, I actually still like to, at times, I mean, if you're playing well, obviously, and you're, you feel you know, really good, then obviously fire on all cylinders and keep, keep moving fast. But in general, I don't know. I feel like uh, all these, these pig wall players like to just go 150 <laughs> miles an hour all the time and grab the ball and serve <laughs> and go crazy. I like I'm used to taking 20, 30 seconds in between points and like gathering my thoughts. So um, I'm probably I'm probably the, the Rafa Nadal of, of pig wall, taking my time and going to the towel and stuff. But then it's not going to change anytime soon. I don't, I don't like to feel rushed. As long as you don't pick your button between points, we're all good. Yeah, and uh, I give you, how I give you one of these if you want. <laughs> <laughs> how confident are you with the rule book after this one, Jack? Um, oh, I don't know. That was that was that was bad on me. I don't know why I tried to challenge a ball that I didn't even call. So it didn't really make a whole lot of sense. I think I was more <laughs> I was more confused. I think I was looking at him for confirmation or not, and then we were both just looking at each other all dumb, so whatever. I mean, we were able to get to the last few points there and, and close it out, but yeah, I probably need to study up on the handbook there.